Hey, it's Andrew with GY6 Vids. In today's episode, shooting the Smith & Wesson 500. Oh my God. So moving into the video, we are shooting the Smith & Wesson 500 using the 500 grain projectile from Hornady. This thing is a open lead tipped round, so it will expand slightly, almost like a mushrooming look when it impacts, not to mention a fireball coming out of this short little barrel of this tank of a pistol. Um, it's a lot to hang on to, it kicks like a mule. So let's have some fun. All right, so I'm excited. Bare ballistic gel, glasses on, ears on. It's time to blast this thing. I can't state it enough. 500 grain projectile is huge, my guess straight through the gel, but I want to see what the temporary wound cavity looks like to compare it to what it looks like when it hits meat. Here we go. Uh, it is a flat nose, open tip projectile, but I'm not sure what it looks like because it's way, way out there. When we do a more heads up test between projectiles and seeing overall penetration mixed with you know, expansion, we'll have two of these gel blocks in order to capture everything no matter what. For today, we just wanna see temporary wound cavity with the expansion and what it does through just bare gel compared to shooting through two pork shoulders. All right, stabilize that. There is no gaps or anything in between. It's just all one solid chunk of fat, meat, and bone all the way into the gel. I'm excited. All right, well, I think I just need to adjust my sights. I have a shot that's almost identical to the first shot, so at least I know I'm not flinching. It is hitting exactly in the same spot. Well, at least we know it went through the meat. <laughs> it's stopping back at about you know 17 inches or so in the very back side of the gel block, um, and it's perfectly expanded, doesn't look to be deformed at all. So let's put this meat in front again. Ugh. Yeah. So I'm aiming here and I'm hitting here. My sights are slightly off. I got to adjust them a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to aim up here. That way, Kentucky windage, it'll hit here. Let's take a peek. That's better. Wow, these rounds are just ripping right through the gel block. I hit it dead center. First shot was down here. Next shot was, well, higher up if it wasn't for that sagging skin. It feels to be, yeah, right through the bone. No problem there, but it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is holding its mass and pushing all the way through and getting good penetration and causing mayhem very far into a target. So if you're shooting at a grizzly bear or in its head, or anything else like that, you can actually, uh, ah, you can imagine it's gonna do the job and take care of business. We didn't even capture that round. The first round went down, looks like it bounced off the table a little bit and stopped just before the end of the block. This round went in, went out, and see ya. So let's put this meat back up. We're gonna line it up just like we did. Now we're gonna use a slightly smaller round, uh, a little bit lighter grain weight, but it is a hollow point, so we should get that shock and awe factor we love seeing when we shoot ballistics gel with meat in front of it. <laughs> Let's take a peek. Now we're going to do the HSM hollow point round. This is the jacketed hollow point. It is 350 grains. It is meant to expand. This should give us more shock and awe and, you know, mm, when it impacts the meat. <laughs> Damn. 
It expanded out and stopped just past half block, leaving a big freaking hole. I mean, if this doesn't tell you the hole that this is producing on the way out, I don't know what does. All right, so I wanted to show you up close the damage being caused because in high speed, it doesn't look all that impressive. You know, you're, it's being hit. Obviously, it doesn't look horrible at all either, but there, these rounds, I mean, it's the size of a lipstick tube. <laughs> you're looking at two massive projectiles. You know what, let's get out one of my favorite little knives. This is from Tactical Pterodactyl. This knife is too cool. I take it with me in a lot of the trips I do. I especially like using it for ballistics gel. I think it's the size of this thing. That is huge. It's like a ring pop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there is your hollow point. These are both Smith & Wesson 500 rounds. They're both gigantic. One's 350, one's 500. Giant open wound. I just want to show you, get some of that. Ah, there you go. This is bone. It's all pulverized. <laughs> You have the same issue with this. <laughs> Straight through bone, it's broken. So you have two broken bones all the way through. Sun is setting, always fun. So if you guys want more Smith & Wesson 500 videos, maybe a comparison to another Smith & Wesson 500 round to say Smith & Wesson 460 or the 454 Casul or 58E Desert Eagle, let me know. We'll be able to provide that. That'll qualify through a thick pork shoulder, two of them and penetrate still. Smith & Wesson 500 gets the job done.